Dude, what is up, everybody? I just want to say, like, I am incredibly stoked because we got a new game just kind of out of nowhere. It's called Apex Legends. It's a new battle royale. And today on my show, on this uh, on this show, on my YouTube channel, I'm going to tell you guys why you should play this game. Like, why I think it's awesome. So, uh, let's get into what it is first. So, it's a first-person shooter battle royale. Um, what differentiates it from other battle royales is that it's kind of, it's kind of like has like over an Overwatch feel to it. It's got like classes uh, or like people and all of the people have different skills uh, that counter the other classes like the other people and um, you pick three uh, it's, it's squads of three that go into this map and um, you have to pick a, like your favorite character based on their skill set um, their skills counter other people's skills and make you know to kind of help balance it all out and it's it's really unique in that sense, um, and uh, I think that it's it's a good mix because it's doesn't have the annoyance of PUBG. Like you can't prone in the grass and not be seen due to foliage, but you also don't have to build like in Fortnite. So if you're overbuilding and you're over PUBG and you kind of want something new, man, I think this is going to be the game for you. Um, the classes, uh, well, it's not really classes. I should stop saying that. The characters are what make this game so cool. Like the characters and their skills. So. Uh, I'm just going to get into the pros right now. The pros of this game, a few cons, and then uh, from there you can decide whether or not to play it. So the first pro is free to play. 100% free to play. Like, what's the what's going to hurt you? Like, why not just download and try it for a day? Instead of you know, being like, I don't like arcade shooters. Just try it, dude. It's fun, okay? It's, it's a lot more than just like an arcade jump shooter. Like, you have skills and abilities, and you have to use them to save your teammates or, you know, do a lot of damage at the right time. So I think that makes it fun. Um, it's easy to pick up. It's uh, it's really easy to play and figure it out, but it also has the ability to be difficult with the skills and uh, mastering the skills to become the best player is definitely a possibility. So the high skill cap is uh, another possibility for this game. Let's talk about the map a little bit. So right now we're landing on this ship that spawns loot. It's next to the ship that uh, you come in on, and uh, so this is like a cool feature another of the map that no other battle royale has. Um, this map also has a bunch of zip lines all over the place that uh, you can see so can get on top of buildings and the movement feels really free uh, The map also has a zone that has a high chance to spawn like it's a circle on the map You'll see before you go in the spawns high caliber loot and a full uh, a chance to spawn in a gun with full attachments Which is kind of unique um, There are also balloons with ropes attached to them all around the map that you can climb up and when you climb up them you can re uh, deploy your jetpack and go further away. So if you're trying to run away from the circle, it's a great way to do it. Um, you also have zip lines from building to building, which really make it possible to like zip around and move and uh, really outplay people. Um, the other thing that I think is unique, uh, some people might see it as a con, is that uh, you there is no fall damage. So uh, I think it's kind of a, an interesting take on battle royale. Like it's. You know, it is arcadey, so why not have some some fun aspects to it? Why not, you know, why not be able to jump from the plane and just land next to someone? I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's just cool, and it, it gives the game like a whole new perspective. So, uh, let's talk about how like so the game feels pretty polished. Like it just came out there. It feels like there's limited bugs. Uh, it feels really smooth. The frame rate's good. The optimization was good. The only thing that I can think of that really was bad was some like there was some armor glitches on the color and like what level armor you had but other than that it was pretty sick and um unlike PUBG like right like they still like it took them how long to implement vaulting in PUBG and I don't know it's just that PUBG you can't even like go up the same staircase as your teammate without sa feeling like sandpapers running together you know what I mean it's like crazy this game it's just smooth it feels smooth and it's really awesome um, another pro to this game is they're, they're the first battle royale that I know of that's trying to do something about camping, or I mean uh, thirsting. So like right here, like I died, I got thirsted by that guy, but they picked up my panel. I think you have 80 seconds to pick up a, your, like your panel, and if you take it to a respawn beacon, your teammate gets to come back into the game. If you don't pick it up in the 80 seconds, they, they can't do that. So it really gives you know your team incentive to play more aggressive and make plays with their skills, uh, and also really like... Uh, prevent people from thirsting so much where you know like it's not going to be as worth it if they can just get their teammate back up um, I think that the uh, the reviving animation is really sick so I had to show that little clip but uh, two more two more pros then we'll move on to a couple cons uh, one another pro the loot feels really like well spread out you can find a gun it's not like PUBG you like on a wrangle where you run into a building's 
and you know one guy gets an AR, then you, you like you're searching seven buildings in a major city, and you find a shotgun in one of them. Like it doesn't feel like that. Like there's there's loot all over the map. There's boxes where you can find it, and uh, it's pretty good. So yeah, I think that's that's like another big plus. And then um, sorry, that was a little bit loud. Turned down. The other thing uh, that I feel like the guns are pretty well balanced. Like I feel that overall the ga the guns in the game uh, are like are really good for like their intended ranges. SMGs, shotguns, up close. Shotguns are a force we reckon with in this game. They are scary up close, especially late game circles. I actually see a reason why I'd carry a shotgun. They do insane damage. Same with SMGs. SMGs shoot really fast, low recoil, and they they don't do much damage, but the high rate of fire makes them really lethal. So um, ARs from mid-range, uh, obviously really strong. You can spray people mid-range. Uh, the recoil is not too hard to control. And um, there's a lot of burst ARs, which is a little bit different, and so it kind of makes for unique fights for sure. Uh, that way, with the uh, with the burst rifles and SMGs, and then there's a lot of DMRs, uh, snipers to choose from that for those long range engagements. And there is a decent amount of bullet drop in the game, which makes it, you know, fun. So let's get into the cons. Uh, there's only a, a couple. Like honestly, the, the the number one con I've already kind of leaked towards it is that there is it is arcadey. It is jump shooty. Climbing grapple hooks like craziness going on all the time if you're not into that if you're into the more realism of PUBG um, I, I can understand that uh, I understand or like Tarkov like if you're into that kind of stuff this game probably isn't for you um, But it because it is arcadey. Uh, I don't see that as a negative I think it's good to mix it up. I play escape from Tarkov quite a bit uh, and when I'm having a bad day there I'll play this game so um, But that's my first con uh, second con is that uh, I feel like they're gonna have a hard time with like being able to balance the classes because uh, like some classes I feel like are pretty overpowered um, it could just be some new like I, I don't know yet but like balancing classes that are definitely stronger than other classes is gonna be kind of a challenge in the game I can see that being hard so uh, but obviously there are counters to, to certain characters I think like that's how the game has to work right so it's you know you can't just pick the same character every time and be successful because there's got to be counters otherwise what's the point so I think that's a really unique idea to the game and I think that uh, being able to balance that and make sure making sure that some classes aren't more overpowered than others is going to be probably one of the tougher challenges for, for this game. Uh, the other thing that I struggle with is that there is only three man squads. I wish that it was four just because uh, if we have a lot of friends that play, that play games together and it's hard when you have to kind of pick or choose between friends because you only have you know three spots. but. That's okay, you know. That's just an, uh, another thing that the game either could fix or might not fix. They don't need to. It's just something that I, I personally find to be a con. Um, the last thing is that uh, there's very little recoil on the guns, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. But I can see other people seeing it as a con because it's not as challenging. But I think that that like what counteracts the the recoil is using your skills appropriately and protecting your team or also being able to do massive damage with a, a missile strike so um i think that like those are really the only cons i could think of overall we'll have to see like how the progression of the game goes but that's from like a day one standpoint enjoying the game putting quite a few hours into it today i really think that it's it's got potential i think this game really has potential to honestly combat like fortnite even it, i think it's awesome uh Without the building, thank God. <laughs> no offense to Fortnite players, it's just not for me. But um, yeah, so anyways, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know uh, if you played it, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, what they can do better. Uh, what, you know, overall, you like, look at this. Okay, sorry, my friend Mac just got owned with a shotgun, like up close. It's not a joke, people. It's not a joke. Um, but yeah, so if, if you like this uh, video, please subscribe to my channel, uh, leave a, a like on there, a comment, what you are looking forward to the most with this game, if you liked it or not. And uh, even if you're not into arcade games, let me know if like you liked it, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely got a twist to it with these, these uh, characters and their skill sets. Um, but yeah, so overall, like, I'm just stoked. I think it's uh, the game I needed for the kind of fun shooter that Battle Royale, that everyone's been looking for something different. I think this definitely provides that. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys finish uh, watch, watching this video. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you liked it, again, subscribe. Thank you so much, and you guys have a good night. Thank you.
10 kills. You are the Apex champion. Nice.